having couch talk now because this is like where I come and tell you guys everything last night I uploaded my vlog where I was talking about self-confidence and like just the nasty comments of people calling me fat and a fat bitch <laughs> and um the response from you guys has been so insanely positive and so supportive that you guys it means so much to me like I truly appreciate every single person that messaged me like I still have so many snapchats to go through and like every time I read one I'm like on the verge of tears because of what you guys are saying and also the fact that so many of you were saying that you felt similar to me or you know you went through something similar there's like I think there are so many of us dealing with body issues and things like that and it's important to talk about it because I feel like the more I speak about it too, the better I start to feel. Like I kind of start to heal in ways that I wasn't healing before I spoke about it. So um, I feel like I've had the longest day ever. It's 7.40 right now um, and I woke up, oh my God, I woke up 12 hours ago. I woke up at 7.40 in the morning. Um, I went to the gym, got a little cardio in. I'm seriously considering getting a personal trainer just because I want some guidance and make sure that I'm doing things correctly at least for like a month I've never worked with a personal trainer so I would love to try it out for a month I remember a few years back my mom was working with a personal trainer and she looked amazing so I mean it has to work then <laughs> but um oh yeah I got my nails done finally I got a pedicure manicure it felt so good to finally do something for myself because I've been running around like crazy and now I'm just catching up on Empire. Maybe I'll watch Scandal too. And then Chris should be home by then. Maybe we'll do dinner. Except I already ate so I don't think I want to do dinner. He's going to be hungry though. <sighs> but yeah. That's all I wanted to say for now. R.I.P. Prince. Alright. I am. I'm going to go to the mall now. I really want to see if the new Anastasia liquid lipsticks are in stock at Macy's. They have them online, but I really want to see them in person because I want to pick the ones that I want. Like, I need to see what they look like in person, even though I know I'm going to love a bunch of them. And then I think I'm going to stop by Forever 21, and that's it. I'm so weird. I actually hate going to the mall. Like, I only like going when I know exactly where I'm going. Like, okay, I'm going to go to this store because I need this, but I hate going to the mall. I prefer to shop online. But then the only downfall with online is that you can't try the stuff on. But then you don't have to deal with people and traffic and just, I don't know. <laughs> I spent the whole morning responding to comments from my last video. You guys are so funny. Oh my god, I have to edit a video for tomorrow. I'll do that when I get back from the mall. Oh my god, I have so much to do today. But we'll get it done. I finally finished getting ready. I didn't find anything at the mall, like, ugh, this is why I hate going to the mall. I feel like I never end up really finding anything. The only time I really shop is when I buy makeup. I need to just stick to online shopping because everything is right there. Everything is in stock most of the time. And I don't got to deal with people. I'm waiting for my friend. She's going to come pick me up. We're going to hang out today. Whew, it's so beautiful. I love this weather. I don't even need a jacket. It's probably going to get a little chilly tonight, but... I naturally get so hot that I don't even want to grab a jacket. <laughs> uh, what else? What else are we doing? I feel like everyone is outside today. Everyone. Oh, if you guys watched my haul, my live haul on Periscope where I showed you guys all those products that I got. And I got these hair products from PYT. And one of them was this really cool brush that was a brush straightener. So the brush actually heats up and you can just brush your hair and it strains it. I used it today and I really like it so far like it was I actually did not think it was gonna work but it works and I like it and I'm gonna keep using it so I can keep you guys updated because I've been very into like a sleek look lately I feel like it's much more manageable and it just looks it goes with every look anything I wear sleek straight hair goes with it so Chris just had his first cortadito I still haven't drank mine I haven't had one of these since Miami <laughs> July in Miami. Yeah. Hold the camera because it's 
little. Forget it. Forget you. This place was so yummy. It's gonna be it's so high, but watch. This is Are, where I'm at. <laughs> stop, you're being exaggerated. No, I'm not. Cause you can hold it like that, babe, not like up like that. That's like if I were to hold it like that. Ugh. Whatever. Can't do nothing. Anyways, now you're not gonna be my vlog because you don't wanna hold it, so it's just gonna be me. We're going to the zoo. We're going to the Bergen County Zoo. It's super packed. I thought I was being original, like coming. Oh, is he leaving? No. Oh. I thought I was being so original coming to the zoo because it's so nice out, but everybody else had the same idea. So yeah, I don't even know if we're gonna get parking. I hope we do. It's so packed. Well, this sucks. Negative Nance. The last time I've been to it was probably in first grade. Oh, wow. When was the last time I went to a zoo? Oof. Can't even remember. <laughs> So far, there are no. Oh wait, there's a there is an animal. Is that a cow? Oh great, we just came to see a cow. <laughs> oh my god, it's huge. Is that a pig? Look, it's not even pink. They're not all pink, Ayla. There's like different types of pigs. Let's go look at like the pig. I think that's a hog. Did you hear that? Lady? Wait, can we go in there? Oh, we can go in here. Oh. Wow. They're so I smell, I smell the smell before. You smelled that before? Yeah. Cows. <laughs> oh my god, they're so fluffy. What kind of cows are these? The mountain lions are this way. Oh, maybe the mountain lion. Oh, it is. It's a mountain lion. A mountain lion. It's funny that he's eating the plant though line. because they're 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 meat eaters. There's men. They eat meat, they'll eat you. Honey, they say that the mountain lion can't walk like more of a bird. You know, it's like chirps and stuff like that. Look, look, looks like Freddy when he's doing that. I know. Look. Maybe Freddy. We ran into Nadia, but I forgot to record her. My camera was off. She came here with her daughter. Alright, we're leaving. They were missing a lot of animals. Yeah, they were missing a lot of animals, but they had a lot of cool ones. Yeah. Well, I wonder if we could do a tractor ride. A few things happening this morning. One, I have to take photographs. Well, I have a ton of work to do. I'm not even going to get into it, actually. Um, I ran out of coffee. I usually like to have coffee in the house because I like to just make it. But I ran out and I normally don't really like Dunkin Donuts, but there's one super close. So I was like, I just need coffee really quick. So I went, their machine was broken. I'm like your Dunkin Donuts, you're like, that's like coffee is like your main thing, coffee and donuts. But their machine was broken. Um, so I was like, okay, let me go to another place. I really wanted to go somewhere local. So I went to this coffee shop down the road. Um, it's called glazed donuts their donuts are insane i don't even want to go in there because they make crazy looking donuts like they're so good like it is an art form anyways i ordered a caramel latte she gave me a regular iced coffee and i didn't realize it till i got home because for some reason when i took a sip i thought i had order a vanilla coffee so i was like oh this, this tastes a little bland and then i realized wait i asked for caramel Anyways, I added some of my creamer and it ended up being fine. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this story. I'm just tired still. <laughs> my morning just turned around when I saw that Drake just announced his summer tour. And I'm kind of dying because every time he goes on tour, I, n I never get tickets. And I was like, the next time he goes on tour, I'm freaking getting tickets. And I'm so excited. I need to get tickets. They go on sale in four days. I'm being a little quiet because Chris is sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. No, he should get up early. Everyone should be up early. 
I'm sorry, the weirdest people outside. Um, so some of my friends want to get tickets for the Drake concert too. So problem resolved. And then they just told me that if you're an Amex card holder, you can get the tickets early. So I can buy my tickets tomorrow and I don't have to wait till the 29th, which I'm so excited about. So tomorrow morning I'm getting the tickets, which by the way, let me put a reminder. I've always wanted to see him in concert because you know, that's Bay. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I woke up an hour ago and I'm still tired. I stayed up so late because I just feel like I have so much work to do and it doesn't end. <laughs> but that's a good thing to be busy. I think it's a good thing. I'm used to it just being so warm in here that when it's cold, I'm like, I just want to stay cuddled up. Oh my God, can you guys see Lola? She blends in with the blanket. You can't even see her. <laughs> I have to write a blog post right now. I took the photos yesterday for it. So that really helps. I feel like when my photos are done, <clears throat> I'm good. And then in 50 minutes, the Drake tickets go on sale. I'm so excited. All right, so I wasn't able to get tickets this morning. Kind of sucks. Um, it was weird, like, to get the tickets that were on pre-sale for Amex card holders, the tickets were like $500. Like, so we didn't get those. So we're gonna wait for the next pre-sale, which is on Thursday, and try to get it then. But I'm positive I'm gonna get my hands on those tickets. Oh my God, and the VIP tickets to meet Drake are $1,000. Like a part of me would seriously pay that, but I'm just not gonna do it. I wanna meet him in a more organic way, you know? Like I don't wanna meet him because I paid to meet him. I'm gonna meet him just, we're gonna bump into each other one day. So yeah, I'm not gonna pay to meet him, it's so funny though, cause to me future, it's $500. <laughs> they played future. I have a dinner event that I have to go to tonight. It's not till way later, but I need to start getting ready because I want to try and film. It's such a gloomy day, it's really cold. I just changed again. I had another outfit that didn't work out, so I just changed really quick. Just have like an oversized kind of white, plain white blouse and leggings. And the dinner party is for main addicts um that brand i know jen atkins works with them she's the one that does all of the kardashians hair so i'm excited to see what products they have i've never tried any other stuff so i don't even know if i'm trying anything i think they're going to talk about new products i don't really know yet i will keep you guys posted you guys it's so pretty in here yeah we do so crazy guys i just got back from the gym and i really wanted to show you guys what i got from the dinner last night so the dinner was for the hair company main addicts and marula oil which you can see right here on the bag we went to abc kitchen and it was so beautiful in there um it's so funny because they kept saying like celebrities always come here and then in walks giselle the supermodel um, proving their point but it was so so beautiful in there that I loved learning about the products and I'm really excited because they gave us some of the products and I got home so late that I didn't even check what was in here so I'm gonna open it for you guys I'm not even gonna do this on snapchat this is only gonna be for my blog so we'll start like everything is packaged so pretty too it's not like just the products are thrown in here like everything comes in its own separate packaging so this is the Marula Oil Professional Medium Round Brush. And this is what it looks like. Pretty. I actually needed a new brush to blow dry my hair with. So perfect. And I have to wash my hair now. Then this is the large round brush. I'm probably going to like this size better for my hair. Yeah, I feel like this is more my size. 
This is the extra large brush. Whoa, I got brushes for life. Hair brushes for life. These are really good, this size, when you want volume. I always try to use uh, a bigger brush when I want tons of volume. Love it, I cannot wait to use this today. We have here, I have two little products down here. Marula Oil Rare Oil Intensive Hair Mask. I want to use this right now. It says it's revitalize, repair, and renew. Let's see if it smells good. Oh my god, it smells so good. And then this is the Rare Oil Treatment Light for hair and skin. Oh, for hair and skin. And it says it's lightweight, conditioning, and smooth. Oh, I love their packaging. And I love that you can put this on your skin too because usually when I put an oil on my hair, I end up rubbing the rest like on my arms to moisturize. So this one is legit gonna be for your skin. Classic dressing brush. What is a dressing brush? Oh, I had a feeling it was gonna be one of these. Guys, this is my favorite type of brush to brush my hair with, no joke. I have, I mean, I don't have this one, but my other brushes that I use for just brushing my hair on the regular, they're always like this. I feel like you get, I don't know, the padded brushes are always, I feel like they leave your, they kind of like treat your hair better. Oh, this is so pretty. I've never been so excited for hair brushes. I feel like I have such luxury brushes now. This is the detangling brush. I need this. My fusion extensions get super tangled is annoying so this is perfect so this looks like similar to the other one but the bristles are very different this is definitely a detangling brush because i have something similar to it does anybody know why they put these in bags and products like this little bag with the beads i used to always open them when i was little i don't know what that does but if anybody knows let me know i've always wondered i should have just googled it but if any of you guys know just let me know one last box i saved the biggest for last and this just says marula oil a rare luxury so i have no idea what's in here Ooh, pretty and then the other side is like the model this is the styling collection luxury meets style i love that okay so what we have in here is a rare oil style extending primer then we have the three-in-one styling cream and we have the perfecting hairspray so let's see what the style extending primer is for so it's a spray form I like that um, I feel like the spray form products work really well for me because I have fine hair and they're not like too overwhelmingly heavy so it says spray on to clean damp hair from roots to end, comb through and style as usual. Another product I will be using today. Okay, the Rare Oil 3-in-1 Styling Cream. It says apply a pea size amount to damp hair starting at the ends and working up to mid-length. So you're only going to use this at the ends and like the mid-length of your hair. You're not going to apply any to the root. And then it says blow dry and style or air dry for very coarse hair add one to two drops of the rare oil treatment and hydrate and tame cool. last but not least it's the hairspray i love hairspray some people don't like hairspray i love hairspray and i love finding good hairsprays like ones that hold your style but aren't like crunchy or whatever so i'm a big fan of hairspray you just have to find the right one for you i'm gonna hop in the shower and Actually, I'm gonna clean. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I have to edit this vlog is what I have to do. That's what I'm gonna do.